Hello everyone, welcome to this video about the 10 gallon nano reef tank we set up as a gift for my brother. As you can see the tank is slowly maturing, with beneficial bacteria settling in on the rock and algae covering the glass. The once white rocks are slowly turning into different colors due to the presence of bacteria and algae. Today we'll be cleaning the aquarium as the glass has become quite covered with algae, obscuring the beautiful corals within. We'll also be moving some corals that accidentally got knocked off the reef last time my brother attempted to clean the tank on his own. We're also adding a few new corals and possibly even a fish, so stick around. The first step in cleaning the tank is removing the algae that's covering the glass. Some time ago I purchased a glass scraper, which has been a game changer. In my opinion it's so much easier as opposed to using a sponge your algae magnet cleaner. So let's get started and get this tank looking a little bit better. Now that we've cleaned the glass, the water has become quite cloudy, so let's take a moment and let it settle before we start moving some corals. A few weeks ago my brother attempted to clean the glass using the algae magnet scraper, but somehow managed to knock over a few corals while doing so. But no worries, none of the corals were damaged. Most of the corals in this tank are soft corals, except for the calistrea, which doesn't seem to be doing so well. I will remove the coral for now because I don't want it to die. There are multiple possibilities as to why this coral isn't doing so well in this aquarium, but given the fact that it's a relatively new setup, I think this plays a big role. And now for the fun part, adding new corals to the reef. My brother and I selected a few different types of corals to add a little bit of variety to the aquarium. This tank used to be set up in our living room, and when we broke down the aquarium to move it to my brother's room and start all over again, the corals and fish that were in the tank were added to my shallow reef which is currently set up as a frag tank. There were also a few fish in there that now live in the 40 gallon reef and a small clownfish that is currently swimming along with the corals in the frag tank. I'm thinking about adding the clownfish back into its original tank. But for now, first let's see what we picked and get it onto the reef rock. These corals are not only beautiful to look at, but they also help to create a healthy and balanced environment for the other creatures living in the tank. The corals provide shelter for this clownfish and I might add a small goby or some shrimp to the aquarium soon. What do you think I should add to this tank? It will take a while for the corals to settle and fully open up. This can take a few hours for most corals, but for some it may even take a few days. The next video on this channel will be a reef tank bedroom tour where I'll give you an update on all my reef aquariums, including this tank. So if you want to find out how this tank will look with all the corals opened up, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching!